Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my video. Today I've got a 1996 Audi A4. This is the 1.8 turbo version one. This is the car uh, that replaced the Audi 80, Audi 90, or Audi 100 is here. Now this one is the first Audi car to have used uh, that 5 valves first cylinder engine, AEB with the turbo. Makes 110 kilowatts of power. I will quickly give you a show run. As, as you can see, 16 inch alloy wheels and it comes with center locking, power windows, power mirrors, uh, six speaker stereo, and also got a, and this particular one's got a CD stacker as well. Um, looks quite good outside. Uh, compared to Audi 80, this one's a bit, uh, a bit curvy. The Audi, Audi 80 a, bit, a little bit boxy. Uh, this one here is the rear seats, quite comfortable, and nice leg room as well. Here it is, uh, the front seat. Now we're gonna look into the boot and the engine bay next. Here is the boot. Nicely carpeted layout, bit of side box here. And here you can see the 10 stack CD player. Let's have a look at the engine bay now. Here is the engine bay. Now let's get inside and have a look at the interior. All right, we're inside. Let's have a look at this interior. On the left hand side, we have the power window controller for the passenger side. We got the passenger side air vents. We got the center air vents here. Then we got the instrumentation cluster, the right hand side air vents. And we got the power mirror controllers there. And we have all the power window controllers on this section. Now, that's your wiper controller and that's your indicator and the headlight controller. Looking at the instrumentation panel, we've got quite a bit of information. On the left hand side, we've got the engine oil temperature, rep counter, then we have at the bottom uh, the clock, analog clock on the top middle section. On the left hand side, we've got the coolant temperature. Then we have the fuel gauge, fuel warning lights here on the middle and the speedo on the right hand side and obviously the voltage indicator on the bottom right hand side. And that's the total mileage as well. LN1 is a reminding that I haven't done a service by Audi yet and fuel warning lights in the middle. Coming back into the center, we have got fog lights, rear window defogger has a light, coin or a little bit of storage box, factory six speaker stereo and with CD changer as well plus 10 stacker CD in the back which I have mentioned earlier. Then we got the automatic climate control here, you press the auto button, everything will come back automatically so I'll, I'll just turn it off. And uh, then we got a five speak uh, manual transmission, excellent transmission, very very precise, and the cigarette lighter here, and bit of storage on this section. Let's take it for a quick spin and see how well she drives. All right, let's start the car. First, as always, I always say, the things that I like about the car, I like the interior. It's nicely layout, and it's got an excellent uh, climate control system. The factory stereo with six speakers, it sounds excellent and the ride inside is very quiet and comfortable and also the back seats are comfortable and spacious as well and it's got a large boot which is uh, very good as well. Now if I am to complain about anything about the interior is only thing I must say is for a car at this price point it does not have cruise control so that's something that would have been good if the car had a cruise control. Next coming to the engine is fantastic. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's got the 1.8 liter turbo, the AAB engine uh, with five valves per cylinder, makes 110 kilowatts of power at 5,000 RPM, 5,700 RPM. And uh, the peak torque is 210 Newton meter, which is available from 1750. Now they have a climb uh, acceleration of 8.3 seconds 
from 0 to 100 kilometers and um, the fuel consumption on this engine is fantastic as well it's only 7 liter combined fuel economy for 500 kilometers overall a very good car to drive and this 1.8 liter turbo version comes with sports suspension and so it can handle the corners pretty good as well now that there is a bit of turbo lag as always with the turbo engine but if you can rev it past two and a half thousand rpm that's when the turbo kicks in and you get plenty of power there um, very fun car to drive it's preferably with the manual transmission and I've got this one with the manual transmission and as you know it just pulls so if you find one in good condition and with full service history that is very important make sure the turbo seals and everything's done uh, go for it thank you for watching my video I'll catch you next time